Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm your host here at Homestead Binder. So we are in the first week of March as I'm recording this video and chick season is coming. Everyone's getting chicks. So I thought we could do a video going over the must have supplies for chicken owners and the must have supplies for chicks. All right, we're gonna start with chickens first and then I'll show you all the stuff that I have for chicks. So here's our waterer and you just fill it up in here upside down and then you flip it over and it all comes out. Actually, I'm gonna pour it out because it's a little dirty. Try to keep it as clean as possible. That way there's no, nothing that they can give each other. Try to keep that as clean as possible. Here's their food. I'm actually out here filling everything up. So this one has a little, Holes right there and they're able to eat out of that one. This one here is full of grit and um, oyster bits. Um, you have to give them grit in order for them to digest their food. So this is really important. This stays out with them 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. I have a system where I have two of these and two of these. So I'm constantly every other probably every three to four days, um, filling this up and swapping it. And then um, every single day I swap this one out because I think you saw her, I have a cross beak and she's not able to drink out of my other waterer, which I will show you. <laughs> she is. So I keep this one for her. Here's my other feeder. They're able to stick their heads in there and eat. Um, I kind of am doing both right now, but I have this one just because it's a little bit easier and it holds a lot more. So this one is full, always. Um, and then I have another. This actually is for chicks, and this is what you would put their food in. I just went ahead and filled this up with grit so that that is always, always available for them. That's how they digest their food. And then this is along the same lines as the other one that I showed you. It's just a little bit smaller that you're able to put in with the chicks and this is how they drink their water. So really just this one and this one is what you would need to start. This one we haven't used for a while, it's a little bit dirty. I need to clean it. But um, we don't have any chicks, so. <laughs> but these are the two must-haves for chicks. You have the water and their feeder and you just fill them up upside down and then flip them over. That's how they work. And I'm in here in my shed. It desperately needs to be organized, so bear with me. We have these, which I love, love, love. These go in their nesting boxes, and they just kind of peel apart like this. And I get them off of Amazon. Super helpful. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm getting everything cleaned up today, but I'll go ahead and link it below. The little nesting squares. <laughs> Super convenient. Pine shavings, you can obviously find this at Tractor Supply. This is what you put at the base of their um, brooder that you're keeping them in and it, it just absorbs moisture really well and we have continued to use this throughout. Um, and I have, mine are probably about six to nine months. So, and we still use this, so I'm gonna put this in their coop right now and just clean everything out. Now this pertains to older hens specifically I've been giving them whole corn through the winter this is something that is going to bring their body temperature up and allows them to keep each other warm so super helpful and definitely something I'd recommend adding to their diet but only in the winter time after it starts getting warmer here I'm gonna switch them off of this and I'm going to move them over to oats and that's just kind of how I do my summer versus the winter time when it's cold we got a helper here. <laughs> We're a little bit upside down here, but I don't think you want to see me dump all this food on the floor. <laughs> so, we've been using this Purina, Lorena, l l what, however you want to say it. <laughs> and this has been wonderful. I'm actually kind of convinced that this girl decided to start laying since we put them on this feed because 
she's a cross beak and I didn't think she was getting the right nutrition so I just assumed that she wouldn't be laying and she's actually been laying for about two weeks now so super exciting and we love this feed highly recommend it and I get this from tractor supply so I'll go ahead and link all of these things below and kind of give you an idea of how I um, like the amount like I give them one scoop of this a day and the same will switch up with the oats here in a little bit but And then the oyster shells, I get this in the big bag too. It's just more cost effective, honestly. And um, honestly, I haven't really been using these a ton. I mean, it was in that feeder that I was showing you. But the feed that I'm giving them, it has calcium in it. So I haven't really seen them wanting to get these because if they need it in their diet, they'll definitely go find it. So I haven't really seen them use it. So, I mean, that's a good sign. I don't really have to put this out, so we'll definitely keep this just in case we need it in the future. So that's what we use and what we find to be successful. And you saw I kind of adapted it a little bit over time. Sorry, I have sugar here. She's nudging me. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.